Now before closing this reaction, let's quickly look at one more thing. Uh, we have been looking at acetyl formation. Now we can also have thioacetyl formation. When we replace uh, oxygen by sulfur, then we add the name thio. Like this is cyanate. When you add sulfur to this, this becomes thiocyanate. So when you replace oxygen by sulfur, the term thio is added. That's that's the way it goes. Cyanate, thiocyanate. So when you replace oxygen by sulfur in acetyl, it becomes thioacetyl. So if if you have an aldehyde, if suppose we have ethanol and we are adding thioethylene glycol, then this will give us a thioacetyl. The mechanism will be the same without change of an iota as we have seen in case of acetyl formation or thioacetyl formation. Their mechanism will be exactly the same. So there is no problem drawing this thioacetyl. Now the next thing is, if you remember resentment reduction, when I taught you, we started from carbonyl chloride or acyl chloride like this. And I told you that if we carry out hydrogenation with H2PD and that is poisoned with barium sulfate, then there is a reduction of this bond, of this compound. Hydrogen is added. You get a, a aldehyde like this and HCl comes out. When I taught you this reaction, I gave you a, a explanation of why, as to why this should occur. Because this bond is a weak bond. Because chlorine is more electronegative than carbon and is pulling more of the electronic density towards itself. So electronic density in between the nucleus is less. Reason number two, the chlorine is of third period, carbon is of second period. There's a size difference overlapping, the extent of overlapping is less. So the bond is weak. When the bond is weak, it can be broken. Because generally you have hydrogenation on C, double bond C. And one of the bond here is a pi bond. And we know that pi bond is a weak bond, much weak than a sigma bond. So this can be broken and hydrogen can be added. Similarly, if you, even if you have a sigma bond and, and if that's a weak bond, that can be broken and hydrogen can be added. That's the explanation we saw for resentment reduction when we saw method of preparation of aldehyde. I hope you remember. A similar situation has arisen here. Now instead of chlorine, you have sulfur. Now sulfur and chlorine are adjacent atoms. The size is almost same. Now, both are of third period. So the, scar the bond between this carbon and sulfur and this carbon and sulfur are also weak. So under high pressure, if you add hydrogen into it, the hydrogen will quickly get added and this bond will be broken under high pressure. So what will happen is, if we add hydrogen in presence of nickel catalyst, and of course the pressure, pressure has to be high for this hydrogenation reaction. So this bond breaks from here. This bond breaks from here. This bond breaks from here. And this bond breaks from here. Because carbon-sulfur bond is a weak bond. Hydrogen gets added to this carbon on this side and on this side. So the major organic product that we are interested in would be this. And as you can see, what happened actually from going from here to here is C double bond O is gone. And you have two hydrogen instead of the oxygen. So from C double bond O, you have two CH single bond. So actually you have reduced this carbonyl compound. And from this aldehyde, it has turned into an alkane. So from ethanol, it has become ethane. So this is a powerful reaction to reduce the C double bond O. There are other methods. We will we'll be seeing shortly and one of them or two of them we have seen in the chapter carbonyl compound but I'll make you study that once again. But this is one of the method to reduce C double bond O that we are seeing now. Right? Alright. And what happens to this part? Now this is carbon, this is carbon. Again hydrogen will be added. So that will come out also as ethane. Now this, this will not be, this will always be ethane and this is ethane because it is ethanol. If you would have taken propanol, this would have been propane. 
So depending upon the structure, you will get the major the the the, the major organic product we are interested in, and this part will always come out as ethane, and this sulfur will come out as nickel sulfide. Right. So uh, this cyclic thioacetyl is an important uh, intermediate to to get a alkane from carbonyl compound fine so this reaction of addition of alcohol is complete let's go ahead next in the same addition reaction we can look for addition of hcn now the idea will be the same as before you are adding hcn now this hcn is a weak acid it will slightly ionize to give h plus and cn minus now that h plus is going to get attached with this oxygen this ketone is going to react this this h plus is going to come close to this oxygen this oxygen is going to give its electron and a charge is going to develop on this oxygen so when h plus forms a bond with oxygen or the charge comes on oxygen because oxygen has given its electron to hydrogen and now this oxygen because it discovered that it is now becoming electron deficient will start to pull more electron from the carbon and the carbon will become very electron deficient and now this weak nucleophile as cyanide can also come and attack this carbon so what you're going to have is one of the pi bond will break because carbon is making a new bond one of the previous bond has to be broken so when this electron goes to oxygen oxygen becomes neutral like this this carbon forms a bond with cn like this and the bond with r remains so this is what you have now this is called as cyanohydrin the cyanophosphonide group and this hydroxy group is there for hydrin this is called cyanohydrin we had the discussion before that the cyanide on hydrolysis gives carboxylic acid. This we have seen when I told, taught you Stefan's reaction that when it's the C double bond N, then it, when you hydrolyze it, this turns into a aldehyde. When you have C triple bond N, and this we have discussed in the previous problems that we were solving before, this turns into a carboxylic acid. The mechanism I haven't told you, and I'll tell you this in the chapter of carboxylic acid. This reaction is a method of preparation of carboxylic acid. The hydrolysis of cyanide gives you carboxylic acid. Now here you have cyanide. When you go for hydrolysis of this cyanohydrin, when you add H plus H2O, then the cyanohydrin will turn into hydroxycarboxylic acid alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid this is carboxylic acid this is the alpha carbon the carbon which is directly attached to the group and this OH is on alpha carbon so this is alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid or this is simply alpha hydroxy acid in organic by acid we mean carboxylic acid so you say carboxylic acid or you say it just acid so this is alpha hydroxy acid right there's one more application of this reaction when you add liquid ammonia to this alpha hydroxy acid then this OH group is replaced by NH2 group and we have NH2 instead of OH and this becomes an important organic compound amino acid in this case, this is alpha amino acid. Amino for this amine group and acid is for this carboxylic acid group. So this becomes alpha amino acid. Amino acid can be of various types. Beta amino acid, gamma amino acid. Now this amine is, not, is on alpha carbon. So this is specifically alpha amino acid. Amino acid will be studying towards the end of the course. But this is what amino acid is. And this is alpha amino acid. So this is addition of HCN. Right?